everybody. It is Mrs. Homily, and this is our um, second grade guidance lesson for the week of March 23rd. Um, so great to see all of you. I miss you all. And today we're going to be talking about mindfulness. So our learning target is I can demonstrate mindfulness strategies. And so today I am going to be the queen of calm, and I come from the kingdom of it's all good. Okay, so say it with me. It's all good. Good deal. All right, now, um, mindfulness. Let's talk about mindfulness. We learned about that before break. Um, and so mindfulness is really um, noticing what's happening right now. Not thinking about the past, not thinking about the future, being very calm, being grateful about things, but noticing what's happening right now. And what that reminds me of is self-regulation, which you have learned about before. So let's just practice that. Self-regulation is, I can be focused, control my feelings, and manage my behavior. Let's do that one more time, because everybody does that so well. What is self-regulation? I can be focused, control my feelings, and manage my behavior. All right. Well, friends, what um, I have for you today is a fun book called Moody Cow Meditates. I like this because I grew up on a farm. Not sure if we had any Moody Cows at my house, but here we go. My name is Moody Cow. It used to be Peter, but now it's Moody Cow. It all started one silly, rotten day when Everything went wrong. First, I had a bad dream. A very bad dream, which involved a giant three-eyed alien. What a rotten way to wake up. I wanted to find my mom and tell her about the giant three-eyed alien, but I couldn't find her anywhere. So, I, I admit, I was in a bad mood to begin with. Then I couldn't find my skateboard. Turned out my sister had borrowed it. Daisy, stop drawing on my skateboard. Okay, maybe I overreacted when I pulled her tail, but it was a brand new skateboard. Good choice or bad choice to pull her tail? Bad choice. So then Daisy had to get back at me by tripping me on the stairs. What a monster. Ooh. Good choice or bad choice to push down the stairs? Ooh, bad choice. That made me mad. So mad that I cut her doll's hair off on purpose. Good choice or bad choice? Very bad choice. Of course, I got in trouble for that, which made me miss the bus. I had to ride my bike all the way to school in the snow. That made me really mad. On the way home from school, I hit a snowbank and scraped my knee. There was blood everywhere. The rest of the day, I couldn't stop thinking about how rotten my day was all really Daisy's fault. She put me in a bad mood by drawing on my new skateboard. Ow, 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 ow. You think it really was all Daisy's fault? Or maybe it was the giant three-eyed alien's fault for giving me bad dreams. Whatever, I was so mad I couldn't even see straight. And when I turned into our driveway, I crashed right into my dad's truck. Ow, I think I broke my nose. Well, you can understand that with a bloody knee and a banged up nose, I was madder than ever. Super mad. Oh, I can't take it anymore. And then I did something crazy. I picked up my baseball and threw it right through the window on purpose. All right, friends, good choice or bad choice? Very bad choice. Unfortunately, my mom saw the whole thing. What on earth are you doing? She yelled. Have you lost your mind? She came outside, 
took one look at my super mad, rotten day face, and I guess she felt sorry for me. Aw, are you a little moody cow? Moody cow, moody cow, moody cow. Of course, my sister Daisy heard her say that. She started shouting, moody cow, moody cow, Peter is a moody cow. The next thing I knew, all the kids in the neighborhood joined in. We need grandfather, mom said and picked up the phone. Pretty soon, my grandfather was sitting in the sunroom on a meditation cushion. I got to sit on one too. I hear they're calling you Moody Cow, grandfather said with a smile. I couldn't help smiling back a little. I guess Moody Cow was kind of a funny name. See this, he asked as he pointed to a jar of water. This is your mind, he said. And these, he held out a little dish of sparkles, are your angry thoughts. That, I said, is a jar of water and those are Daisy's fairy dust sparkles. Come on, Mr. Moody Cow, work with me here. Now, what we're going to do is put in a pinch of sparkles for every angry thought you have. Then we're going to sit here until they all settle down to the bottom. By the time the water is clear again, your anger will have all settled down too. It won't work, I told him. Let's just see, he said. I took a pinch of sparkles and dropped it into the water. What angry thought is that, grandfather, grandfather asked. That's the three-eyed alien that tried to gobble me up last night. Oh, I see. Rotten way to start the day. Okay, what else? I put in a pinch for the next angry thought. This is me having to clean the toilet for a whole month for breaking the window. I hate cleaning the toilet. Me too. What else? I put in one more pinch of sparkles and said, this is Daisy drawing on my brand new skateboard with a marker. Oh dear, she did that? Grandfather sighed. Okay, what else? This pinch is when I missed the bus and I had to ride my bike to school in the snow. You can ride a bike through snow, Grandfather asked. I have good tires. Anything else? On my way home, I scraped my knee and I was so mad I crashed it into Dad's truck and I think I broke my nose. Ouch, Grandfather said. That must have hurt. It did. Then I picked up my baseball and I threw it through the window on purpose. Wow, you should put in a double pinch for that. I guess you really did have a moody cow day today. I sure did. Is that all? Grandfather asked. Yeah, but it's a lot. It sure is. Grandfather put the lid on the jar and shook it, shook it up really good. This jar is like your mind now, he said. Angry thoughts bouncing all around, all over the place. Now, let's see what happens when we let your angry thoughts settle down. Grandfather said, putting the mind jar down in front of me. Just sit quietly and see what happens. I sat up real straight and then I got a ring from the gong. Bong! I sat watching all of my angry thoughts swirl around like crazy in the jar. A few thoughts slowed down and sank to the bottom. Then a few more, then a few more. It was so still, I could feel my heart beating. It was so quiet, I could hear my breath going in and out, in and out. I felt a ray of golden sunshine coming through the window. It warmed my back and started to melt away the last of my anger.
Finally, Grandfather rang the gong to end the meditation. He leaned over to whisper in my ear, okay, this part's important. Don't move until you can't hear the sound of the gong anymore. I cocked my head, listening closely. Bong. The ringing got softer and softer and softer until I couldn't hear it at all. Grandfather smiled and held up the jar. Well, look at this. All the sparkles have settled down, he said. And my angry thoughts have too, I said. I mean, I guess if I think about it, I could get mad again. That's probably true, he said, but we have to work pretty hard to settle them down. Let's not stir them up all again today. I laughed for the first time that day. That thing is cool, I said. Can I keep it? Sure, said Grandfather. He smiled and handed me the jar and the dish of sparkles. A few minutes each day helps keep Moody Cow away. Now he laughed again. Thanks, Grandfather. Can we do this again tomorrow? Of course. Let's try to do this together every day. I went to my room and I put the mine jar by my bed just in case the three-eyed alien ever comes back. Now it's been two whole weeks and I haven't had one moody cow day. But I've decided to keep the name anyway. I kind of like it. He crossed out Peter and he put moody cow. The end. Notice it's a skateboard. All right, friends. So what a cool book about Moody Cow, Peter, learning about how to meditate, which he did with his grandfather. And if you would like to, you know, make a mind jar like what they did in the book, you know, you could use like an empty water bottle, um, you know, something else that your family is okay with you having, some water, if you have some glitter or some beads, something like that, you can put that in, um, in the jar and shake it up and then let it settle on the ground. All right, so meditation, it certainly helped Moody Cow calm down, make some good decisions. And I think by the end of the story, did you notice he was, he could be focused, control his feelings, and manage his behavior. All right, good deal. Well, friends, let's talk about some quick strategies. You know, just a reminder, as we think about mindfulness, you can certainly do things like four square breathing. So let's just practice that together. Breathe in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, breathe out. Hold, two, three, four, breathe in. Hold. Breathe out, hold, two, three, four. And again, if you have any, any family members who have ever been in the military, they might know that as combat breathing, okay? But four square breathing happens to be one of my favorites. Another one that my daughter Rachel told me was figure eight breathing. And this one you've seen too, where you take your finger and you just draw an eight on your knee or on the chair or in the air and the top half of, of the eight you breathe in. And then when you get to the middle and for the bottom, you start breathing out. Top half breathe in. And you can do this anywhere. And nobody has to know what you're doing. Um, another one is think about things that you're grateful for. Gosh, you know, I am grateful for, you know what, Mr. Homily is making a nice enchilada lunch today. Pretty grateful for him. He's also behind the camera. Thank you, Mr. Homily. Appreciate that. Um, and notice things around you that you are grateful for. Time with your family, time with your pets. Um, 
who knows, maybe being able to wear jammies more, whatever that might be. Think about things that you're happy to have. Um, and then, you know, allow silence to have your inner thoughts. So just sit so quietly and notice things that you hear. what your mind is thinking. That can be very relaxing. You can tell Mr. Homley's getting pretty relaxed behind the, the camera right now. Oh boy. Well, guess what, friends? We have a very special visitor. Guess what? Leon came to stay at our house. We wanted to make sure that Leon was comfortable and safe. How you doing, Leon? All right, buddy. And so Leon is going to join me today for a little uh, relaxation activity. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Moody Cow Meditates is by Carrie Lee McLean. Yep, maybe I could read this to you tonight. Yep. Okay, now we're going to do um, a little activity from um, something called Ready, Set, Relax, which is by Jeffrey Allen and George, Roger Klein, excuse me, Roger Klein. Okay, so Leon, I know it's been, a, you know, lots of stress going on. People are watching the news, things like that. But do you think you're ready for a little relaxation activity? Okay, Leon, you can make yourself comfortable. Good job, good job. We're sitting here by the fire, one of my place, favorite places to be. And this one is called Pleasant Dreams. And if you fall asleep, that's okay. Sit comfortably with your feet on the floor. Take three long breaths. Feel yourself, oops, let me take another breath. Feel yourself relaxing more and more with each breath. Feel your muscles relax and your heart and breathing slow. Think to yourself, I am calm and relaxed. It's been a busy day, but now it's time to get ready for bed. Hear the doorbell ring. You walk to the door, open it, but find no one there. Look down and see a rectangular box lying on your front step. Next to it is a small box in the shape of a triangle. Both are wrapped in paper and changes color before your eyes. As you carry in the packages, they feel warm and mysterious. Take a relaxing breath and begin to untie the ribbons around the rectangular box. Fold back the tissue paper and see a pair of red slippers in your size and the latest style. Sit down, slip them on, and lean back to look at the slippers on your feet. Breathe in slowly and relax. As you become more relaxed, the slippers begin to change color. Take another breath. Concentrate on your feet and experience the feeling of relaxation. As you relax, the color of your slippers continue to change. Breathe in slowly and deeply and feel the tension and stress complete, completely leave your toes. 
your feet, ankles, your legs, knees, and your thighs. When your lower body is totally relaxed, your slippers will change into your favorite color. Reach down and lift the next layer of tissue paper from the box. Discover a beautiful robe fit for a king or queen. As you hold it up in front of you, notice its beautiful color and design. The robe is woven from shiny golden thread. Put one arm in the robe and feel its security and comfort as your arm relaxes. Put the other arm in and it too relaxes. Take a breath and hold it. Pull the magic robe over your shoulders and button it as you release your breath. The golden thread soaks up the light in the room and warms your arms, shoulders, and chest. Enjoy the feeling as your upper body is totally free of tension. You are calm and relaxed. Reach down and open the triangular box. Inside is a beautiful sparkling hat shaped like a comb. Put the hat on your head. This hat lets your mind relax and funnels in only happy, peaceful thoughts. There are so many good things about you to think about. Take a moment to think about one thing good about you. Take a deep breath and return to your room. Open your eyes and stretch. Take a few moments to appreciate the good feelings that come with relaxation. It was pleasant dreams from Ready, Set, Relax. All right, second graders, I'm thinking about you and I care about you. Your parents can email um, or call if they need anything from me. Leon, are you feeling a little more relaxed? Oh, good. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. All right. Have a wonderful day, everybody.